Hello guys, welcome back to Food Dojo. Today is the second day of our trip, and we just left the Keo Plaza Hotel after indulging in their amazing breakfast buffet. If you're curious, don't forget to watch our full hotel review video. Next, we made our way directly to Sapporo Station to store our luggage since we didn't want to haul it around while exploring. We begin our day at the Sapporo Beer Museum, which is our first destination. To reach the museum, you can take the Loop 88 Factory Line bus which stops at various locations including Adori Station and close to Sapporo Station. The bus departs every 20 minutes and costs 210 yen per ride. Alternatively, you can choose to walk from JR Sapporo Station, which takes approximately 25 minutes. However, we opted to take a taxi. The museum operates from 11 o'clock to 6 p.m., providing ample time for visitors to explore. Admission to the museum is free, but if you're interested in a guided tour, there is a fee of 500 yen. Sapporo Beer, one of Japan's oldest and most popular beer brands, originated in Hokkaido, which is known as the birthplace of beer in the country. When you go down to the second floor, you'll be amazed by the sight of a massive boiling pot capable of producing around 240,000 bottles of 350 milliliters can beer at once. The exhibition showcases rows of vintage bottled beers. These items were once considered luxurious and beyond the reach of ordinary people, necessitating the use of various advertisements to boost sales. Through the exhibition, it becomes evident that Sapporo Beer has consistently embraced new challenges, contributing to its current position. One particularly, I catch an aspect of historical advertising was the collaboration between beautiful women and beer. Even today, it is common to find beer advertisements featuring attractive women holding a beer, but this trend can be traced back to the past when women played a pivotal role in advertising. After exploring the history of Sapporo Beer, we headed downstairs for beer tasting. The first floor star hall offered a delightful experience, allowing us to sample beer directly from Sapporo Beer's Hokkaido factory and Sapporo K. Takashi Beer Brewery. While general visitors could also enjoy beer sampling here, tour participants enjoyed exclusive seating, avoiding wait times, especially on busy days. A popular choice was the three-type tasting set featuring Kuro Label Classic and K. Takashi beer. Though they may seem similar, each beer offered a distinct taste, making it exciting to compare and discover personal favorites. For those who preferred smaller quantities, sharing the tasting set with friends was a great option. The museum shop provides a diverse range of items, including unique offerings exclusive to the Sapporo Beer Museum and confectionery representing Hokkaido. Souvenirs adorned with the Sapporo Beer logo, such as keychains and notepads, are convenient to carry and embody the spirit of Sapporo. Particularly popular is the decorative tape suitable for embellishing letters and notebooks. Excited by our experience, we couldn't resist purchasing a Sapporo Beer Museum t-shirt as a memento of our visit. Next to the museum, you'll find the Sapporo Beer Garden, comprising a collection of restaurants. The beer garden includes a number of charming beer halls as well as the upscale Garden Grill restaurant. The beer halls are particularly popular for their offerings of unlimited beer and the opportunity to indulge in a local mutton barbecue dish. However, we decided to pass on this experience since we had enjoyed a hearty breakfast earlier. After our visit to the Sapporo Beer Museum, we made our way back to the central part of Sapporo and ventured to a bakery named Donguri, which translates to acorn. After establishing a small coffee shop named Coffee House Donguri in Mariyama back in 1983, they eventually transformed it into a bakery located in Misono Market. As beginners in bread making, their aim was to bring joy to the neighborhood through their baked goods. With valuable input from their customers, they created delightful treats such as the popular chikyu of bread filled with tuna mayonnaise. Now recognized as donguri, they take pride in offering a diverse range of bread as well as side dishes and salads, ensuring a delightful experience of choice. They have such a wide variety of bread options that it was honestly overwhelming. I couldn't decide what to choose because everything looked incredibly delicious. They also had this Hokkaido specialty called Zengi Fried Chicken, it's a beloved soul food in Hokkaido. The chicken is marinated in a flavorful blend of seasonings and then deep fried to crispy perfection. We decided to try the famous chikyu or bread, alongside some delectable fried chicken and a selection of other breads. Since the seating area was crowded, 
We made our way to find a peaceful spot in the park just in front of the Sapporo TV Tower. The prices were extremely reasonable, ranging from as low as 80 yen to 350 yen. This is the Chikua bread. It's a unique creation where the holes of Chikua, a Japanese fish cake, are filled with a tantalizing tuna mayo salad made with chopped tuna mayonnaise, onions, and more. Originally used as a filling for sandwiches, the chicken thigh zengi became so popular that it earned its place as a standalone item. This zengi is marinated for half a day in a flavorful dipping sauce infused with soy sauce and ginger garlic. Many locals purchase it as a side dish for their dinner. Now, let's talk about my personal favorite, chocolate noel. This twisted dough is infused with chocolate chips, providing an abundance of chocolate flavor. It strikes the perfect balance between sweetness and subtlety, delivering a truly delightful taste. With this fluffy yet crispy texture, it offers an outstanding culinary experience. After exploring Sapporo for a while, I was really excited to try out a popular sushi restaurant in Hokkaido. Nimuro Hanamaru a famous conveyor belt sushi chain originating from Nimuro. Having previously visited their Tokyo branch, I was intrigued to compare the two. Their philosophy revolves around staying true to the essence of sushi while embracing creativity. They meticulously select seasonal fish and prioritize local seafood unique to Nimuro. Freshness is of utmost importance to the owner, as they believe it is the lifeline of Hanamaru. They understand that sushi should not only be delicious but also avoid any unpleasant flavors. Hence, they devote their efforts to maintaining the ultimate freshness of their ingredients. No cooking technique can conceal the taste of ingredients that have lost their freshness. I was pleasantly surprised by the freshness of the sushi at Nomuro Hanamaru. I have to admit, I wasn't a big fan of their Tokyo branch, but this time, I was truly satisfied with the quality. If you're in the Sapporo Station area and searching for sushi that offers both high quality and affordability, I strongly suggest giving Nomuro Hanamaru a chance. You won't be disappointed. After our sushi feast, we made a quick stop at Hokkaido Shiki Market before heading off to our next destination. This place is a food lover's paradise in Sapporo Station. Ever since its opening on November 2022, it has been drawing huge crowds of locals and tourists every single day. They've got everything you could imagine from famous Hokkaido sweets to pouch meals made with local ingredients and even alcoholic beverages and snacks. One of the highlights that caught our attention was the freshly made sweets from Sapporo Agricultural College. One treat we couldn't resist trying was their dairy soft serve. It had a smooth and creamy milk flavor that was simply divine. Despite being a soft serve, it didn't melt too quickly allowing us to savor every delicious bite. The Kaido Shiki Marke is an absolute gem for all of us who love culinary delights. This place is a haven of souvenir options offering a wide variety of goodies to satisfy your cravings. So if you find yourself near Sapporo Station, make sure to visit. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked today's video, please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Also, make sure to check out my other videos as well. Hope this video was helpful and stay tuned for more videos. Ciao, see you in the next vlog.